Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, rectangle that consists of a bunch of uh, smaller rectangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, 105 square units. The area for this uh, purple rectangle is 35. The area for this uh, gray rectangle is 14. The area for this uh, yellow rectangle is 28. And finally, the area for this uh, brown uh, rectangle is uh, 21 uh, square units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this problem, I'm going to share with you two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now since we are uh, interested in finding the area of this uh, blue rectangle, so therefore our focus is going to be over here. So therefore we are going to focus on these uh, gray and uh, yellow rectangles. And now let me go over this uh, basic uh, concept. Uh, if we have these uh, two rectangles uh, with the same uh, height, and with their respective uh, side lengths A and uh, B and the area for this uh, first uh, rectangle is uh, uppercase A and the area for this uh, second rectangle is uh, uppercase B then we can write uh, the ratio of their area is equal to the ratio of their uh, side lengths as you can see in this uh, equation and now let's focus on this uh, gray and uh, yellow rectangles and we can see the ratio for these two areas is 1 to 2. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length is going to be 1a. And this side length uh, has got to be 2 times uh, a. And here's our next step. I have created this imaginary red line, uh, as you can see in this diagram, such that uh, it divides uh, this uh, blue rectangle into two parts this rectangle as well as uh, this uh, rectangle. And we know that both of these uh, rectangles have uh, same uh, length. And the height uh, of this uh, rectangle is A, and the height of this uh, rectangle is uh, two times uh, A. So therefore, we are going to use the very same concept, and I'm gonna call the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be one uh, x and the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be 2 times uh, x and our task is going to be finding the value of these uh, x and now let me go over another crucial factor as you can see over here we got this uh, bigger rectangle that consists of uh, four other rectangles inside it where a is the area of this rectangle b is the area of uh, this another rectangle likewise uh, c and uh, d areas then the product of their diagonal uh, rectangles uh, is going to be same as you can see in this uh, equation a times uh, c equals to b times d and if you are not sure about this equation let me go ahead and show you a pretty quick uh, proof to that one Let's assume that side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, A, the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, B, then this uh, side length has got to be A as well, and this side length has got to be B as well. And now let's assume that this side length uh, is lowercase c, then uh, this side length has got to be lowercase c as well. And finally, this side length I'm gonna call lowercase d, then this side length uh, has got to be lowercase d as well. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. So therefore the area for this uh, rectangle is going to be a times uh, b. Let me write down a times b. Then the area of this uh, rectangle is going to become uh, a times c, since the side lengths are a and uh, c. And likewise, uh, this area is going to become b times d. And finally this area is going to be c times d. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So this uh, a times c is going to be this whole thing a times b times uh, c times d. So I can write over here a times uh, b times uh, c times uh, d. 
And now let's cross multiply the other way around. Uh, this is going to become uh, A times uh, C times uh, B times uh, D for this side. Now we can see this left hand side is indeed equal to this uh, right hand side since A times B times C times D equal to A times B times C times D as well. And that was our quick uh, proof. Now we are going to apply this uh, very same concept uh, on this uh, diagram. So therefore I have divided this uh, big rectangle into four uh, rectangles. As you can see these are our four uh, rectangles. The total area for this whole rectangle is going to be x plus 14 whereas the area for this whole rectangle is going to be we're going to add these individual areas so that's going to become 2x 21 plus 28 is going to give us 49 and now let's go ahead and cross multiply these areas. So therefore 105 times x plus 14 let me write down 105 times x plus 14 equals to this 35 times this 2x plus 49. So I can write 35 times 2x plus 49. And now we can see 105 and 35 are divisible by 35. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 35. The left hand side is going to become 3 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 14 uh, equal to the right hand side simply become uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 49. Now let's go ahead and distribute. And here's our next step. Let's move this 42 on the right hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 2x uh, on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step we can see the left hand side is going to give us uh, 3x minus 2x is going to be x equal to 49 minus 42 is uh, 7. So our x value this one uh, turns out to be 7 and this value turns out to be 2 times 7 is going to be 14. So the total area is going to be 7 plus 14 is going to be 21 uh, square units. And now let me show you the second uh, method and this way we are going to find the value of this uh, x and 2x as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two purple and green uh, rectangles. And we can see the ratio of these uh, both areas is going to be 1 to 3 because 35 times 3 is 105. So therefore uh, this side line let me go ahead and call uh, 1b then uh, this uh, side length uh, has got to be 3 times uh, b. Then this side length uh, is going to be 1b as well and this side length is going to be 3b as well. And we are going to apply this uh, very same concept uh, on this uh, rectangle. And we know the total area for this uh, rectangle is going to be x uh, plus uh, 14. Whereas the total area for this uh, rectangle is going to be 2x plus uh, 49. And now we are going to fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. So our area for this one is x uh, plus 14. I'm going to write down x plus 14 divided by the area for this one is uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 49 equals to their respective side lengths. This is uh, b divided by 3 times b. And now we can see on the right hand side b divided by 3b is going to be simply 1 divided by 3. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So we are going to multiply 3 times x is going to be 3x plus 3 times 14 is 42. On the right hand side this way it's going to be a 2x plus 49. And now let's move 42 on the other side and uh, 2x on the left hand side as well. As you can see in this uh, next step, so the left hand side becomes x and the right hand side is 7. So our x value turns out to be 7. So thus our this x value is 7 and this 2 times x is going to be 14. So therefore this uh, total area is going to we can add them up. 7 plus 14 is going to give us uh, 
21. So thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 21 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.